Hi guys, welcome to another hair tutorial. Uh, this time we're using Prismacolored pencils and I've chosen rose gold as the next combination that I'm going to be showing you. Um, so rose gold hair, obviously. Um, this illustration is another from Mariola Bedeck. This is from her wedding hair inspirations. So an, an, another collection that she's done, which are just stunning. And this is a, a beautiful, um, beautiful hair colour, basically. And it works as rose gold metal as well. I'll do a tutorial on metals somewhere along the lines. Um, so the colours that we're using today, again, four pencils. Black Raspberry, which is 1095. We've got Henna, which is 1031. We've got Peach, which is 939. And lastly, for our highlights, Blush Pink, which is 928. So they're the four pencils that we'll be using. So let's get right down to it. Okay, so I've got my board and let me zoom in and make sure you guys can see everything. I think that's going to be close enough for you to see my strokes. All right. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice still isn't fantastic, um, but I'm battling through. Okay, so with this one, Prismacolor pencils, make sure that you sharpen them to a fine point. Um, how long that point lasts is a little bit in the lap of the gods, but we'll try our best. Um, so we'll start with obviously the darkest pencil. I work dark to light. So we're going with the black raspberry first. And I'm going to be doing this broad section here firstly. So what we want to do is quite lightly, I just want to go around. There you go, there's the point. Thank you very much, Mr. Prismacolor. But that's okay, I expect that to happen. Just want to go around and map the area that I'm doing first. I have a love, love, hate relationship with these pencils. I adore them. I can't stop using them. But I think anyone who's ever used them will know that they are so soft that the points do break. So for fine detailed work, as in hair strokes, they are not the best, but you can make them work. And the hair colors that you can get from using them are extraordinary. So that's why I keep using them, I suppose. All right, so we've mapped out the section that we're, we're looking at. Sorry, I've got my board here and I keep on knocking it. So firstly, we're just going to go once around with the black raspberry. And we're covering just where that grayscale is. So those grayscale strokes that Mariola's put in her illustration, we're just going to cover those. And pressure-wise, I'm using a fairly light, I wouldn't say the lightest pressure, but between a light and a medium pressure, if that makes sense. And I'm just going over that grayscale firstly. Where I say I've got a love-love-hate relationship with these pencils, I think the colours are phenomenal. 
the blendability is second to none and I couldn't do skin tones without them. I think they are the best pencils for skin tone just because you can layer so many pencils on top of each other. But fine work like hair strokes is, <clears throat> it's not impossible obviously because I'm using them for that but they're not ideal. It's where the polys really supersede these. Okay, so towards this section, the light source here is basically coming from this area. Okay, so we've got some areas of light where the light's hitting the hair just in here. And it's going to be obviously lighter in that area. So again, just going through the top section. There's another part of my point. And just going through and covering that grayscale. Small strokes, light to medium pressure. And there's just more in this section, so I'll just bring that up. Okay, so that's the first layer done. Now we're looking at bringing in the henna and we're going over the black raspberry and bringing that up further than we had with the raspberry, if that makes sense, black raspberry, if that makes sense. <clears throat> Sorry guys, my voice is still not fantastic. Just my immune system is not great. And when I get something, it tends to linger for a while. So my voice is still not fantastic. But I, I just want to show you guys a couple of sections just to give you the general idea of how this cut combo works. And how I use Prismacolor pencils. With all their faults, they are my favourite pencil. Now there are, and people who use Prismacolor pencils will know this, there are some, although they're all soft core, um, there are a few pencils in the range that are softer than their counterparts, if that makes sense. And black raspberry, raspberry is one of them. It's a very, very, very soft pencil. So henna isn't as soft. Neither is peach or blush pink. So I can afford to press a little bit more. <clears throat> with these ones. So I'm using, I'd say, medium pressure. You're not, you're not saturating the paper by pushing really hard, but you are putting some pressure to bring the colour in. 
if that makes sense. Okay, so that's your henna. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, guys. Hope I'm not blowing anyone's eardrums out. All right. Oh, sorry, Peach. And again, we're going over what we've we've done already. And I'm going to go into these these highlighted areas. Again, just small strokes, little strokes. We're not in a hurry. Good hair colouring, or actually any colouring that you do. Um, there's no rush, there's no hurry. Haven't got a deadline. It's all about being a little bit patient. And not in a rush because if you're in a rush you'll end up with something that you, you are just not happy with so if you take the time you'll find it all comes together again just into that highlight area Okay, and lastly in this area we're going to be bringing in the blush pink and that's really for our, our, our shine to the hair, all right, where the light is hitting it the most. And with the blush pink, as with most of my highlights, I don't tend to worry too much about this you know the little um what am I trying to say little strokes yeah I'm just coloring backwards and forwards it should be little circles but I just want to incorporate you know some of the area up here because this is how you get the, the um rose gold color it's just laying all these colours on top of each other. So I'll pretty much go over the whole area just fairly lightly with the blush pink for the, our first go around. All right. Now we've got our black raspberry and I want to sharpen that a little bit more. This is why we go through so many Prismacolor pencils. I am forever buying Prismacolor pencils. Luckily I've got a lovely lady who does open stock and I usually get it the next day once I order it. And they're fairly cheap. As cheap as any of these premium colouring pencils can be. In Australia I can get them for uh, $2.95 each I think. And that's pretty cheap for us in Australia. Okay, what I'm doing is just going back over doing some more stroke work now that I've got that base layer already done of all the colors okay again lighter pressure in this area and back to stroke work here <clears throat> and 
I always find step back a little bit from it and then I know areas that I want to fill in or change or and that's why yes it's grayscale yes there's an underlying pattern to grayscale but once you go over it then you can make it your own so these areas where they were first I suppose highlights I'm just going to fill them in this time And even these ones down here, I'm just going to fill them in with a black raspberry. All right, good. And then I'll just do this upper section. Okay, so I would see <coughs> this section as being above this one because we've got some shadow here where the hair is darker. Okay, that's good. It's coming together. <coughs> Henna again and just bringing those strokes down more. Into the body of the, the section. And just emphasizing this darkened area in here a little bit because we've decided that there's a section that's popping out a little bit more prominently this section here rather than this which would probably be flatter to the head Peach again. And I'm bringing that into the this highlight, which is the only one really that I'm leaving, except for the middle portion. You can see the ends there the other portions that I filled in and that looks quite nice like that so the polys do have it over the prismacolor in fine detail just because you can sharpen them and keep them with a point for a lot longer it's not that they don't break they they can if you put enough pressure on them it's just that Prismacolors are so soft. They've got such the, the trade-off with blendability and softness of the core is that fine detail where you really need a point and a really sharp point. You just, you really don't get it as much. Okay, so that's good. And then blush, um, this blush pink again. All right, 
So that's starting to get the feel that I want for the rose gold. <clears throat> I will just once more just go over these sections just a little bit. I know it seems like a lot of work for one section but the trade-off is that it really pops, the colours really pop. course you don't have to you can just take this combo and run with it however you want to use it it works beautifully on uh, as metal a rose gold metal which I'll, I'll show you when I do metals so like your gold and your silver and rose gold and platinum and things like that so this is a beautiful rose gold. Now, I'm quite happy with that section. So that's one section down. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's basically just continuing that. Now, the one thing that I will show you is this section here. Now, through here, I would, if I had it, had it with me I would rub that out but I'm not going to be too concerned with the boo-boos okay just using the lightest pencil because this area is quite light <clears throat> now if you look at this section the continuation is actually here and that's where obviously this hair is being pinned in so we'll map that out so that's this section is a continuation of the section that we've just done with this layer over the top of it basically and it's going under this section so just in these smaller areas just lightly with the black raspberry bring in the henna henna Don't get too fussy in these smaller areas. It's just about putting, laying the colours down to give you that tone that you're after. Okay, blush pink. And once more, just to darken it, I'm just going to go the black raspberry. And I think that just that once over, stuck in those sections will do. Okay, so that's an area where you don't need to go over three or four times. This was such a big area that you needed to get that done. I'd say it not perfectly, but as as perfect as you want it um, to give you the framework for how the rest of it's going to look, if that makes sense. Okay, so what I'm going to do, as you know I love rotating, but I'll make sure that you guys can see.
sorry about this guys it's just the way I color all right now just to show you that this section is going to be quite lighter so I'm going to do the black raspberry quite lightly it's more just grazing the page if that makes any sense at all just really softly softly okay this section is going to be a little bit darker And then we're just back to grazing the page with a little bit of that black raspberry. Okay, again with the henna, I'm going a little bit lighter with the pressure, but I'm just extending it out a little bit. And just in these sections, my dogs are playing in the background. Hope the, hope you can't hear that. <laughs> They're not hurting each other. If you can hear them, that's our fox terrier. And the one he's doing it to is our Rottweiler. So <laughs> she's about five times his size. But he makes the most amount of noise. And Ella's asleep on the couch. She's my shih tzu. All right, so you've used the, the darker pencils. Now I'm wanting to go in with my highlights. Okay, I just want that over most of the area. A little bit more cautious around here. I'll be doing another couple of combos. Um, probably trying to keep them to 30 minutes. So I'll show you a couple of sections at a time. And then I'll start with um, skin tones. That'll be the next thing that I'll do. Just got a couple of other hair combos that I want to show you guys. Okay. And blush pink. I think 30, 35 minutes. Gives you a good idea of what I'm trying to achieve and shows you the combo without boring you to tears. I think if I did the whole thing it would just be very repetitive. So I just want to show you a couple of sections at a time. And then you can you know, use the combo yourself if you've got the pencils. And I will probably point out the, I obviously have polys and Prismacolors as well as some other pencil sets. Because you can buy Prismacolor and the polys as loose stock, I've got a list of 10 essential pencils that I think you should have. Say, if you've got Prismacolors, there's 10 essential pencils that you, I suggest that you would have in your arsenal from the polys. Um, now, you can buy them, as I said, as loose stock, so they're not going to cost you an arm and a leg. Um, but you can incorporate them into your current collections. 
and it and the same in reverse so if you only have the polys I've got a list of 10 essential prismas that you might like to buy and have a bit of a play around with and see how you go so I'll probably do that in another video but that's why it's not costing you a whole heap but you can incorporate them and they're colours that you can't really swap over there's no similar like there's not the same tone in the collection And for those that haven't used the other brand, it might get you interested in using the other brand. All right, so I'm really quite happy with the way that that's looking. Just fill it in a little bit more, just over those sections where it's lighter. All right, so we'll do a bit of a, a switch around here. And so that gives you an idea of how this combo works. Um, so again, I've probably got some more highlights through this area, but I quite like the way that that's actually coming together I think that's looking really quite nice so you would just keep doing that same thing section by section building up the color to the level that you want um, so that gives you another little um, combo in your arsenal um, once you see this in real life if you have got these pencils try out this combo it is uh, it's just beautiful and it does do a beautiful rose gold in jewellery and things like that. So I will show you that. So thank you all for putting up with my prattling on. Hopefully you've learnt something today and any questions, please just let me know. And I'll be posting some new tutorials very, very soon with some new combos. And as I said, pretty quickly we'll get some um, hair um, we'll move off from hair uh, to some skin tones all right everyone bye bye